Hello everybody and welcome back to Outcast Studios. I hope you've all had a lovely day and welcome back to Anadonia. I am joined by the lovely Thin and Ruby. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I need to stop that. My voice will die! <laughs> Fucking hell. We're barely into the into the first episode of this session and you're already screaming. Well, you know, we need we need to get the attention of the six-year-olds. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. And I highly doubt um, me waking up from passing out due to hyperventilating would um, encapture that audience. Probably not, but you just hit the uh, moody teenager audience right there. True, true. Thanks for catching me when I fell, by the way. Oh, it's okay, Bobby. <clears throat> yeah, I just... Um, so, you, you know how sometimes I... I, I bring up, you know, oh, I'm trying to keep us safe. That's, yeah. um, that, that's, that's not just me being pedantic. I, I have a compulsion to, um, keep people safe. So when I discovered that there was all of that under our base, um, it, it was a bit too much for me to handle. <laughs> Lots of, um, uh, probabilities that I couldn't account for all just popped up at once and I was very overwhelmed. Yeah, I can see why you can be like that. I mean, it's only like the things that've been killed. I mean, just random people living in our basement. Uh huh. Either They're way, very nice. Either way, because of everything that's happened recently, I think it might be time for us to start setting up a bit more of a um, defense for for our, our little shack here. Um, what do you think? Personally, I think you're just being a bit overdramatic. I mean, wood is the most inflammable material I know of. Okay, but flammable or not, uh, that guy had a gun and probably uh, grenades or incendiaries or, I don't know, a, a, a teleportation device. or He could have literally anything. We do not know. And we need to be prepared for anything. Yes. So, yes, we do. I think uh, a good place to start would be uh, flattening out the area. And I also think that um, we should maybe do that in a bit of a time lapse. Oh my god, is, is this one of the first time I don't need a time lapse? Whoa! Yeah, it's actually one of the second, because if you remember, we did the time lapse with the uh, machine room. Yes, we did! Yes, we did, but uh, oh. yeah. Anyway, uh, so let's uh, let, let's 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 play the time lapse so that we can actually go outside and it doesn't look like we broke continuity. Let's go! <laughs> oh my. Look at you flattening in that train. <laughs> yep, I know. I I I just I no lifed. I just completely turned off my brain and just I well, I mean, let's go and see for ourselves. We've still got the chest monster out here. Um 
Oh, I, I, I'm stuttering a bit. My frames oh, are stuttering. Okay. But yeah, oh. this is almost all of the material that I collected whilst flattening this area. It's not even all of it, because a, ma a large majority of the dirt that I got from this went back into um, making this place look presentable. I mean, why do you need to collect dirt when you could just make it with an EMC generator, man? I actually had to towards the end. I mean, there's still really? like one chest of dirt over there, but it, it's barely a, a row. I definitely had to EMC some dirt. But, um, yeah, show what do you think? Oh my god, it's it's breathtaking, and you you touched my fucking shack. I I, I... you do you touch my shack? <laughs> I, I was wondering when you'd notice, but it was a bit of an eyesore. It was also asymmetrical and far too close to the shack. The memories! Remember the fun times we had with the shack, like, to protect the sheep that disappeared, or to, to make food with the... F oh, yeah, 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 it was kind of useless, wasn't it? Yeah, ultimately, the barn was completely useless. We tried to keep animals, but they died. We tried to grow crops, but we never grew crops. And we tried to put the, the growth accelerators in there, but they never worked. So the barn was basically just one failure after another. But I have moved it over here so that it can be closer to where you've set up your uh, sugarcane farm. Oh my god, you did that for me? Yes, because I figured you were, you, you were all grown up now so it was time for you to sort of have your own farm area a place that you could dedicate oh. to growing all of your crops oh and my... keeping the eyesores away from the the shack um, hey crops are beautiful okay i wasn't talking it. about the crops look at our long beautiful hey <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you'll find that the inside of the barn is basically untouched um it's as empty as you last left it. I am seriously My getting crops. some lag spikes here. Uh, the, the the crops are exactly as you left it. Um, as oh. in not there. Baron. Mm -hmm, Just mm -hmm. how I like it. Look, we can taste these delicious daffodils. Yep, you can just pick one of these four. I think that's five. Uh, two, three, four, uh, five. Five you... daffodil. <laughs> Shut up. Is this the Count Chocula counting episode of Anadonia? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but I figure now you can actually turn the barn into a, a barn and we can keep animals in there. Uh, we have uh, all of this space to put more circular farms to, to grow different types of crops. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the way this has sort of come together. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's I... like all the squares make a circle, you know? Right. I don't know how I feel about it, because on the one hand, I, I kind of like it, because it, it provides a lot more space for us to do things. But it also just feels kind of empty as it stands right now. Yeah. True. We need to populate it. We do. We need to. We need to fill this place up with a lot more buildings, a lot more farms. We need to. You we we need to put walls around uh, this little bowl that I've created so that we can um, keep out any wrongdoers and evil yeah. men. Some farms, some buildings, some trees, and bees, and <gasps> mahogany. Mahogany? Yeah, we could have a mahogany tree farm. You can make anything with create. Um, yeah. Speaking of making things, though, the question is, the all-important question, what are we going to make first? Because I have a computer to finish, but I kind of I kind of want to do some building. I want to make this place feel a little more homely now that I've sort of mm. gotten rid of all of the nature. Well, I mean, there's still some nature. Look, we've got the, the cactuses. Look, we've got the local wildlife. I Ish. suppose, but come on, you can't tell me this place doesn't feel just like a little barren, right? It feels like a flat world. It does, it does. I That's the one thing I regret, is making this completely flat. Maybe if I'd left a couple of hills. Um, but we could look to this board for um, things to do, since it's kind of our to-do list. <laughs> Oh my god, look, there's dust gathering all around this. God, I know. when's the last time we touched this thing? A, a long <sighs> time ago. <laughs> Automated sugar production? Make yeah, oh. a me computer? 
Oh god, fix the home fix teleportation teleport system. system. Gather, Gather more, more resources. resources. Ew. Well, god, I mean, you know, I feel like we can take number three off the board, right? Yeah. I. Well, if we got. I nearly crashed then. <laughs> god. You know what? We all thought it was going to be me this session. I know. But when it comes to improving the home teleportation system, we could do that. Because, I mean, it, it, I mean, look at it. It's tiny. It's a little dinky, dinky pyre. Now, what's wrong with my dinky pyre? It's, Nothing, it's, but it's whenever you first... use it, you get stuck in the fucking wall. It's a small price to pay for our additional addition to the... Uh, yeah, yeah, you're completely correct. I, I know I'm, I am. I'm not just I'm, I'm not correct. justifying this. I lose I, like a heart every time I go through this. <laughs> right. Well, I'm gonna quickly sleep to get rid of some of these mobs so that uh, hopefully my frames will stop uh, stuttering. <laughs> um. Oh, don't be a child. Um. But I think we should focus on uh, at least to begin with improving the home teleportation system. So. Yes. The question oh is, my God. what do we, uh, oh yeah, a lot of mobs spawned because I didn't light this place up. What do we want the home teleportation system to look like? Well, I think we should not keep the original design, but the original idea, you know, like a, a monument to teleport into the shit shack. Well, you know? if we want to keep the monument style, then um, I do have a little source of inspiration that we could pull from, but it would require me to pull up a reference image, so you'd have to keep our viewers entertained, which you're probably going to be doing a lot this session, considering I keep, like, stuttering every ten seconds. God, um, is this going to be a M.E. episode? <laughs> maybe. You could finally have your own solo episode. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> the, Ru the Ruby show. Oh, god. Is That's that, like, curse. is that season two of the Savile show? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, Ruby and the B <laughs> Ruby and the Cane... You, I can't call it a Cane Stalk. Well, why, why is sugar cane? It's like one thing. It's not like a beanstalk. No, it's it's sugar, sugar, sugar cane is like really thin bamboo that grows really close together, isn't it? I, I, I thought it was just like... You know, I, I don't know enough about this. I, I don't know where sugar comes from. All I know is it, it tastes good in my tea. Right. right. Well, in that case, if uh, I'm... If... Well... Okay, do you want to build the thing together? Or do you want to do your own thing? Oh, wait, we, we can do a project together? Oh yeah, my you god, wanna, what? Do you want to work together? Of course, Mr. D! <laughs> okay, Harley. Right, um... <laughs> <laughs> so, I figure up there could be a really nice place to put it. Because even though it's far away from the shack... I feel like it could be a lot more of a uh, monument, I guess, if we put it high up. It could show a lot of significance. It could show a lot of importance because, I mean, it is very important, the teleportation system. We take it for granted, but it allows us to travel tens of thousands of blocks by simply just clicking a button. And I feel like something that important deserves... I've crashed again. Uh, deserves to... Uh... Oh, God, no. Oh, God, this is a great start to our first session. Okay. Uh, well, while you're dead, um, right. I'm going to go... Ah! Okay, I well... I have no direction. I have no purpose. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guide you. I'm gonna puppet you from beyond the grave while I uh, restart okay. my client. What, what, what materials do I need? Uh, right. What do what? I need to build? Listen, uh, foundations? Ruby, Ruby, calm. Calm, calm. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm still with you in spirit. Right, so... I thought I was the only one who could use TeamSpeak Elepathy! <laughs> no, 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 no. My species has, like, built-in TeamSpeak Epathy. Um, what I'm gonna do while I'm restarting my client is I'm gonna pull up the reference image that I was going to follow to design the uh, teleportation system. But because I can't do three things at once, I want you to take over commentary. Do you think you can handle that? My, my commentary? Oh, wow, wow, we were. I can do that, I think. That, yeah, well, I fucking hope so. <laughs> Why do spiders have eight legs? Why? Because, like... Yeah, okay. I'm funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, remind me to never let you take over commentary again. 
half of our di uh, dynamic is my witty banter, and if there's no banter to banter, I'm just a, l an al a lone maid in a right. vast open plain with nothing to do and people to see. And God, why can't I hear birds chirp? Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's ambient, ambient sounds. sounds. Okay, so this is part one of the reference image, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Viewers, tell me, what do you see? How many blocks <laughs> is there going to be? One block, two block, and three And this is part two of my inspiration. I figure we can sort of mash these designs together and okay. create something uh, similar to this. Now, the question is, what kind of scale do we want to build it on? Because, uh, as you can see, they're actually rather small. Um, but if we want to add some detail when we replicate this, we'd have to build it a lot bigger. Okay. So, I'm thinking, judging just from uh, the, the, the color pattern that's used on these images, we need uh, a lot of stone, a lot of cobblestone, maybe try and find some blue corundum. Um, oh, actually, yeah. Not the purple corundum that we have in the machine room, but some blue dedicated corundum. Um, and then maybe some leaves, so if you can get some shears and gather some leaves, that might work. Of course. Um, also, I'm just going to do something that's just going to... You're going to hate me for it, but it's going to make everything so much quicker getting up here, because it's a bit, a bit annoying to get up there, a bit of a ball ache. I'm just going to quick... I've just made a quick uh, platform. Oh no, oh, no you took- you oh no, you- you took the thing. What have you done? <laughs> oh no, you took the thing. I was originally just gonna take the waypoint and then put it up on like a small platform up top while I, we gather resources, so then when oh. I come back- So when we come back, we don't actually have to- Yeah, as, you know, I that have the waystone. <laughs> Wait, no. If you put the waystone back down where it used to be, there's one in the uh, shed that we can use. 